guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a unboxing and a review on the new Dyson hair straightener. So this bad boy is the Dyson Corral and this is the newest product from Dyson, I believe anyway. I don't know if anything else has been released since, but this seems to be super hyped right now. As you guys can tell, my hair is fairly straight already, but I will be doing a review based on, I guess, my hair type, somebody that has, you know, naturally straight-ish hair with some kind of wave in it. If you guys have curlier hair than myself naturally, I would suggest also looking at reviews of people that have naturally really curly hair to see how this works. But if you guys are interested in seeing this unboxing, what it all comes with and how it looks and my thoughts on it, then just keep on watching. All right, so this came in the mail just the other day. This is like a really heavy box. This is upside down. There we go. So this is what it looks like here. It looks like you can also be cordless. Let me just see. It says the only straightener with flexing plates that shape to gather hair, less reliant on heat, enhanced styling, use corded or cord free. Cord free for convenience, but it does last longer plugged in, so. <laughs> It also says you can charge it 90% in just 40 minutes. So that's interesting. Well, I love that Dyson has such great technology all the time and it's very, very innovative. I have not tried the air styler myself, the one that can curl your hair with wind or whatever. <laughs> I haven't done that one, but I do love my Dyson hair dryer. And this bad boy has been with me now for a number of years. I would say probably two to three. I got it right when it was released, kind of in and around there. It's really beat up because it's been in my luggage. It's been tossed around in a luggage bag. This hair dryer has been such a good investment. I do feel like it keeps my hair as healthy as possible and you know, blow drying your hair, it does have heat, which therefore can cause some damage. So this is actually a really good tool that I have in my hair kind of routine right now. So I was really curious about this hair straightener because I do tend to straighten my hair more often than I curl it. Dyson products also come with a two year warranty. So I already got that for this straightener here, but I'm trying to slide. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's finally sliding out. Okay. So when you get it, it comes in this kind of cardboard box at first. The next step is that it kind of pulls this way. Perfect. Inside you will see this. There is the wrapping paper to start off. Ooh, this is really nice. Okay, this is the first piece. So it looks like it has its own little kind of carrying case. It does say Dyson right here. And this is all like a kind of velvety kind of feel to it. And oh, this is it, I think. Oh, this is for travel. This is really cool. Okay, Whoop. so this is the straightener. This is what it looks like, you guys. I'm trying to open it. Okay, so there's a little bit of like a slider feature right here and that's how it pops open. So that is super cool. The color of this is very similar to the hair dryer. So the first style color they came out with was this kind of purpley color as well. It's designed to meet the ICAO regulations, allowing you to carry it on board an aircraft. Please note that for Japanese airports, they are more strict. Pull out, okay, so it does say here, all you have to do is disconnect the battery in order for it to be flight ready. This piece looks like it's going to have the cord to it. So it says here, learn about your two year warranty. I already have that. Okay. This is one piece. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Maybe this is like the charging port. That's really cool. Second piece is this guy. This has to be like a stand of some kind. I'm going to try to figure this out. <laughs> so these two pieces do come together. We have the second piece and the first piece, and this is where you can kind of place your straightener into the little port there, and you can just rest it like that. There, you can kind of see that a little bit better. Okay, so here we have the cord. So we have the part that attaches to the wall or like the plug, and then we've got this piece here that is going to be attaching to the straightener, and that's how you can use it corded, I'm gonna assume. So the base is kind of on the bottom, just like that. It's actually kind of like a magnetic thing, so it really does go into the straightener product really easily. You can't actually put it on the stand <laughs> with the cord attached to it. So once it's fully charged, they did say about 40 minutes, the iron would be 90% charged. You can take the you know, piece off and then rest it on the stand. I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions about how much this thing is. So I'm just going to load the website here. 
the Dyson Canada website. This is in Canadian dollars. So the straightener uh, model that I have is $649. It also does come in a purple color, like a purple and black as well but that one is currently out of stock on Dyson. In American dollars, it is $499. That is in American dollars. So I have seen it on Nordstrom and I've also seen it off of Dyson's site. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I will be using it in the corded state. I do have it plugged in. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. Anyways, there's a cord just kind of behind my desk, so I put that in there. You do have to press and hold the on button, and it looks like you can kind of turn it up. I'll show you more zoomed in. We do have a plus sign and a minus sign. That's for up and down in temperature. There's also a on button that's similar to a computer. The little kind of silver thing here is to open the iron up, basically. Otherwise, if you slide it down, it'll close flat. So. Now it says it's ready already, which is crazy. This is at the first heating setting at 165 degrees. Dyson says that the heat settings for this, they are variable. There's three different options. We have the 330 Fahrenheit, the 365 degree Fahrenheit, and the 410 Fahrenheit. Because I'm Canadian, this is a Canadian model. Mine says 165 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Celsius, and 210 degrees Celsius for the features. One thing right away that I did notice was that this cord swivels 360 degrees. That's also something I like. I find if it's like kind of stagnant like this and you're rotating, often it can get very easily knotted as well. I That's another pet peeve of mine with the straightener I do have, it can get knotted or, you know, as you're moving around, it starts to dip and dive and whatever. So you often have little like bits of kinks to kind of work through with the cord itself. Hopefully this will help that be a little bit less of a problem. Okay, so let's try this thing. It's definitely hot, I can definitely feel it. So it is doing a good job, as you can see. I mean, my hair is, like I said, relatively straight. So if you do have like really curly hair, this of course isn't gonna be as helpful for you, unfortunately. So do check out other creators who have curlier hair that have reviewed this because that will be a little bit more useful for very curly hair types. So I do like using the lowest possible heat setting to straighten my hair. I don't want it to be super, super hot, obviously. And at the lowest setting, it's doing a really good job. But like I said, my hair is really straight normally. So this needs just like, you know, a couple touch-ups here and there. So looking at some of the things that Dyson claims this does, basically one of the things that makes investing in Dyson really important is the claims that they have for less heat damage, right? I've personally found that with the hair dryer. The hair dryer for me, I feel like my hair doesn't feel as dry, as straw-like, um, as brittle as some of the other hair dryers that I used to own where they would just blow like really hot heat on your hair and I'm one I know it's not good, but I am one that blow dries my hair every other day, pretty much, because if it's literally not blow dried, it's frizzy and it's not something that I prefer for my style. So I wanted something that I could invest in that would actually protect my hair as much as possible, knowing that I have this sort of frowned upon habit, right? So this particular straightener I think is going to be good for people that think that investing that kind of money is worth it. The Dyson straightener for me is of course new. So I'm gonna do a bit of an update when I do have more data on this. So when I've been using it for months and months and months to see how my hair is doing, is it kind of maintaining how it is? Or do I find that it's, you know, not helping matters and I would go back to my T3 straightener? So this is very interesting. This price point is going to be way out there for people. And I do know that, but this video is not sponsored by Dyson, just so you guys know. This is just gonna depend on your budget. For me, I think it's worth it if I have the money to use for a product that will straighten my hair well and you know save my hair from the damage, I'm willing to do that. However, there are other brands that are still great that aren't at the price point like this, 
but I would just be careful because they are still heat products. So make sure that you're using them as sparingly as possible. I know that's really hard. This is definitely an ultra luxury purchase. I would say this is up there in equivalency with like getting Gucci makeup or getting Tom Ford makeup, right? Like you don't have to get Tom Ford or Gucci makeup, but some people prefer to invest in those names for whatever reason. Because I straighten my hair so often, I will let you guys know in a couple of months what I think of this like long term, but so far, the flexi plates are kind of cool. It just kind of adapts to your hair as you kind of pull it along. It's kind of interesting. And they do say also, I mean, Dyson is saying that it's 50% less heat damage over time. They say that because they tested it in their facility over a period of time where they just had like a piece of hair with like the plates going back and forth, back and forth and straightening the hair over and over and over again. And they based it based on other plates, like other models. And that's how they came to the conclusion of 50% less heat damage. That is according to some sponsored videos I have watched. But like I said, I'm not partnered with Dyson here. This is just my candid thoughts. And I would say that, is this a good product? So far, yes, it's very easy to use. I love the cordless feature. I think that's really cool. Popping that little battery out for airplane mode is really nice. That being said, my T3 straightener is still a great option and it's far less expensive. The only thing though is that the T3 doesn't have the 50% less heat damage claim. It's just a regular straightener of the high-end category. So depending on how much you value that is going to depend on how likely you are to spend this kind of money on a tool. What do you guys think of this bad boy? Do you think this is something that you would ever purchase? Or do you think this is something that you're just going to skip on? Really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. And until my next one, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way.